Hi there, it's Davidas, Favro Senior Product Expert. And today, we will be talking about the Favro Miro integration. Many tools have a Miro integration, but the Favro Miro integration is unique in its robust setup with the options like import by direction, its speed, and its two-way sync. Let me showcase first how to set up the integration. First, we need to choose a board that we would like to connect to our Miro. Let's choose this project backlog and go to the board menu. Choose Miro and allow Miro to access this board. And then let's go to our Miro. Now in here, let's find the Fabro app by going to more apps and allow permissions for Fabro to join. Then sign in, authorize the permissions, and we're ready to go. From here, we can choose to convert Miro items into Favro cards. We currently support the four most relevant items in Miro. That is text, sticky note, shape, and card. Let's select all four, and the options on the left will appear. First, we can choose the board, which we have connected, project backlog, the status in which we want these cards to be converted to, to do, and the unique point of Favro mirror integration, the convert by direction option, where you can select how do you want these mirror items to be converted into a Favro board from left to right, top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right, and so on. Let's choose the first option. Last but not least, you can also choose a different organization if you have more than one connected to the Miro integration. When everything is set, we simply convert to Favro cards. Now all the items will be converted into what Miro calls app card that has information inside and we can open it. Now here you can already see a link to the Favro card and its status and location. Let's go to the card. Here's the card in Favro. We can go back to the board. We will see all the cards that have been converted. Now let's talk about the two-way sync of the converted items. What can actually be updated and synced between Favro and Miro? Let's open up this text card. Let's go in and maybe update the title. Let's include a member and also a tag. And let's also include into a different board and change the status into doing. All set. Now let's go back to Miro. Now in Miro, we're back on the same text card and we can see the title has been updated, the members and tags been added and also relations. And we can see the nearest information. Now, just to be aware, the only option that you can update from Miro is the card title. Everything else is synced and editable only from Favro side. And this is how the card looks when updated. As you can see, the integration offers both high production quality and boosts productivity, ensuring a smooth and efficient workflow, speeding up your whole process by converting several cards in order. Finally, I'd like to show you how you can choose and include Favro cards into your Miro. By choosing the cards in Favro option, we can use the same powerful search from Favro to Miro to find our cards or simply select the cards from the list that are in the board that we have made the connection and simply drag and drop into Miro. And here it is. We can open up the card and see the information exactly where it is and what is the status. And that was it. Achieve faster results and smoother collaboration with the intuitive Fabro Miro integration. I hope this was helpful and as always, enjoy using Fabro.